So at this point, the back of the hip slung pouch is completed. There's nothing else to be done. It's ready to be stitched to the side, but we, what we need to do is determine the dimensions where the front strap of the hip slung pouch mounts to the post that will be here on the pouch, and then the little sleeve member that holds the strap down, okay? So there's a couple of ways to get that information. And what I always do, because whatever the depth of your pouch is, whatever this strip is, is gonna be the part that separates the bottom of your pouch from the top front of your pouch. So just lay it like so. And then to get that dimension exactly right, you just take the front of your pouch and line it up with the theoretical top front of the pouch and use your little clippies to hold everything into place. And then you can flip your material over and just check to verify that it looks centered the way you'd expect. Okay. So at this point, we just need to determine where this sleeve member fits on the pouch whether aesthetically we like it there, if we'd well, like to move it up further or down further, I think what we have is ideal. So what we're gonna do is lay our part directly over, and that's gonna establish where we're gonna put the start and stop cuts for this sleeve member to slip through to the back side of the pouch. And this can be stitched in place or it can be riveted it doesn't matter, that's an aesthetic choice, but all you need is a singular cut that goes the, the one inch width parallel to the strap of your pouch. And then you can just slide the ends over or under, whichever one you prefer in terms of design, and then either stitch or rivet them down. And then we'll talk about the post as one of the final options, but we will lay that hole out once the whole assembly is put together. So at this point, I'm going to switch to time lapse and we'll cover slitting these distances and then some stitch work. Okay, so what we've done is we've designed the pouch so that the strap fits through the sleeve and we've incorporated a little detail element that matches the initial strap on the pouch. And during the time lapse, what happened was there were four holes punched to cut the sleeve to make sure everything stayed registered. And the reason why a round punch is used is it just prevents this slot cut from tearing up or down further than what your scissors do. And if you, fold the, if you fold the leather in half and cut, that's fine, but you may find that you're not getting the cleanliness of the design, or if you're slightly off on your angle, it'll look kind of V-grooved. 
So generally I will try and go through that small hole and just cut a straight line to the other hole so that when you put the sleeve element of the front of the pouch on, you can just slide it in and you know that no amount of wearing is really gonna force those round circles to wanna tear, okay? And then the final steps will be to stitch on the side components and then determine where exactly the post mechanism is gonna go related to the front of the strap on the pouch.